Hi all, Nishin here from Sakara Academy. Welcome to another video. Bitcoin halving. Recently, you all heard in social media. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin halving, and moreover, that people are talking that uh, Bitcoin price is going to hit uh, 90k, 100k, even 200k. Somebody uh, saying. Okay, so what is the truth behind uh, it? Uh, what is going to happen during uh, Bitcoin halving, and whether the price is going to be an upper side or whether it is going to fall or something? Okay, so uh, for that you need to understand what is Bitcoin, Bitcoin halving, and after that we will look into the chart uh, what the price action is uh, telling about it, whether it going to fall or going to go up. Okay, so uh, let's understand what is Bitcoin halving. Uh, you all know that there is no third party involved in the transaction of bitcoin okay uh, like other currencies okay banks are involved you know that but for the bitcoin there is nobody involved but how the transaction is getting verified there are uh, people like bitcoin miners okay what they do that they verify every transaction and for that they will get reward okay so they are doing some kind of work so they get reward for that okay so there is some glitch in that okay every four year you know that bitcoin is only have limited supply so uh, whenever there is a transaction happening they cannot get uh, uh, same amount of money because the um, supply is going to be becoming lesser and lesser okay so they cannot get uh, uh, same reward every time so for that every four year uh, what they did that uh, okay the, the who invented those who invented bitcoin they did that every four year uh, the reward will get half okay so today whatever they are getting it will get half okay so last time it has happened at 2020 and this is going to be happening in 2024 uh, precisely it is on april 8th okay so after that for every transaction the miners will get only half of the reward what they were getting before okay so that is called bitcoin halving okay so during that process okay so what is happening because the supply is getting lesser and lesser that is why they are giving less rewards okay that is obvious okay but the bitcoin miners have to do the same process okay you know that how much money is involved in bitcoin mining so much of electricity is getting involved and so many gadgets you know that the whoever did the transaction verification first will get the reward so they need to have very faster computers okay and lot of graphics card everything is getting involved in that so lot of money is there okay so the amount of money that is required for the verification will remain same or even okay because of inflation and some of the other factors the price is going to be higher side only it's not going to be lesser side but the reward they are getting will be less okay so what happened on that time okay so whichever reward they are getting okay think like uh, logically if they are getting less bitcoins okay the price of that bitcoin has to be on the higher side only then it can match us the transaction processing charges what they are having they are having some kind of investment to get the return from that investment for the miners the bitcoin price has to be on a higher side if they are getting less bitcoin the price of that bitcoin has to be on a higher side so that is a logical thinking so for that logic we can say that bitcoin price will go on the upper side only and during every four year what are happening okay every four years what was happened was that the, after the bitcoin halving the price went up only okay so now the question is it is the right time to buy the bitcoin now i am recording this video on march 23 2024 okay so in april 8 the bitcoin halving is going to happen and whether it is the right time to buy today or tomorrow or day after tomorrow or on april 8 we do not know that okay so for that we need to see the price action what the price action is saying and from where exactly you have to buy okay last time i made the video on january and during the time of etf when the etf came i told that from around forty three thousand we took that one and our target was 76 at the last target okay every target we hit and it went up to 73 and it fell down okay currently it is trading uh, in between 63 right now 63k 63 64k it's trading right now so whether it is a good time to buy at 63k or at, we need to wait for april 8 or whether it, it has to come down to 43k or not we don't know that so that for that reason we need to go and see the chart okay so let's have a look on the chart and identify the right place or the right price to buy the bitcoin for the bitcoin halving to get the maximum return Okay, so let's see the chart. This is the daily chart of Bitcoin. Uh, 
and you can see i have marked some points uh, currently it is trading below the golden zone if it goes below uh, uh, into the downward side okay i have made a fibonacci to the downward side and it is currently trading below the golden zone it came to the golden zone below golden zone with a very good candle very good bearish candle on 19th march but very uh, the next day it went back uh, to the high okay and that was a retest i believe and from there it started to fall again and currently it is trading near to 63 64 nearly to that and our golden zone is 64 700 sub 76 precisely and uh, if it sustains below that for today or tomorrow okay if it is not going to go beyond the 64 700 so it is going to be coming down to 53k 53 is the point where it took a breakout last time so from the 53 it, it didn't came back to the retesting so the channel retesting is already done uh, so far it, it is not going to go to the channel again i believe but we are not sure uh, if you are shorting your stop loss will be that channel if it is going inside that channel okay the channel inside will be uh, around 68 500 or 69 you can count on it or else for the safe trade days okay you can uh, put the stop loss at 64 776 or 60 Uh, for 800 or even 65k you put the stop loss or or the last candle high last candle is coming at 66 900 okay you can put it 67 on uh, 67000 something like that and you can short for the target of uh, minimum it will come to the uh, day low and day low uh, last last low okay last low is 6700 and below that there is a liquidity point of 59400 okay 59 uh 200 we can say the precise the low point of this candle uh, okay this candle low is uh, 59112 that has to hit uh, but there is a small support line at near 60k last time it took support and it went back but it has to come it has to reach to uh, this point uh, and if it further falls it will come to 53k minimum and our target is 48992 and 46600 okay so at this point may it will come to 48000 something like that but 53 i am seeing okay but uh, our target our highest target was 76k but it didn't took the target before taking that target uh, taking that target it came down so it has to go to that target so the question is that first it will go to 76 or first it will go to 53 that we are so far not sure but as per today's uh, chart okay that is below golden zone so more chances that it can come to 53k so try shorting it for a small stop loss or whatever i said if it comes back to the channel it will go up okay and if the channel higher side is at 76k so it will go to the target so uh, you can do like that and if, if you are uh, planning to invest for bitcoin halving uh, to get it to 100k or something it is not the right time it has to come to 53k or even to 48k so that time you can buy and if you are a trader you can short as of now whether currently it is at shorting position in daily chart also short uh, weekly chart also short hourly chart also short even 30 minutes 50 minutes everything is showing short as of now so you can do a short trade uh, for this target and if you are an investor just wait uh, till it come to 53k or 48k uh, to uh, get your money involved there and uh, you can hold it for at least for 90k or something or at least 76k you, you will get for 76k is for sure okay that is you going to get when it comes to 48k or something you can grab it at that time and you can wait for the target of 76k not not you don't need to look for uh, 90k or 100k or 200k you can just exit at 76k that's that's a good deal okay so for an investor you will just, just wait for 53k or 48 900 or even to 46 47 like that uh, but for trader short as of now and uh, at least the minimum target will come uh, around uh, 59 okay 59300 to 59200 it can come okay if it crosses also below that there is no support okay it's directly it will come to 53k if it breaks that 59200 level it will directly come to 53k okay for short uh, you just trail uh, your profit maximum so that you get maximum return you can get at least 1000 percentage if you are trading at uh, 50x or even you get uh, around 500 uh, percentage if you are at 20 20x leverage okay so that is uh, the analysis that what i am uh, getting from the charts okay so uh, just uh, look your way also and if you are finding any other uh, things that in the chart just comment below okay thank you so much for watching the video see you next time